countries, as you've seen, are trying to find a path out and a path towards uh, a, a new normal, as many people have put it. And we're going to be on that pathway for a long, long time. We talk about timelines a lot when it comes to the global coronavirus pandemic. And now the World Health Organization saying Wednesday there's a chance COVID-19 might never go away. To put this on the table, this virus may become just another endemic virus in our communities. And this virus may never go away. HIV has not gone away, but we've come to terms with the virus and we have found the therapies and we've found the prevention methods and we're offering life to people with HIV, long, healthy lives. Worldwide, the known total of coronavirus cases is at more than 4.3 million. The country with the most confirmed infections is the U.S. And coming in at number two is Russia. And now a life-saving tool there is now being seen as a threat. Moscow is investigating a Russian-made ventilator after six people died in two hospital fires reportedly involving the machines that suddenly burst into flames. The latest case in St. Petersburg on Tuesday. Russia now suspending the use of Aventa M ventilators, the same model sent to the U.S. from Russia last month to help with the American response to the pandemic. The U.S. Federal Emergency Management Agency says the ventilators were not deployed to U.S. hospitals. Russia now reporting nearly 250,000 coronavirus cases, second only to the U.S., which has more than 1.3 million known infections. An update out of the U.S., Donald Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort, has been released from prison to serve what's left of his sentence at home due to the coronavirus. The 71-year-old's lawyer had argued his client's age and pre-existing health conditions put him at risk. Prisons have become a hotspot for the virus. The American Bureau of Prisons has been directed to release vulnerable prisoners not considered a danger by the U.S. Attorney General. Manafort has served a little over a year behind bars of his more than seven-year sentence after his conviction on conspiracy and fraud stemming from the U.S. Special Counsel's Russia investigation. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.